Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Winter Hues scarf, which you can see here in the photo in front of you, as well as I have my sample here with me. You can find more photos as well as the free written instructions for this pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and the direct link will be there for you in the description of this video. So today we're going to be working on this Winter Hues scarf. Now this is a triangular scarf, um, but uh, it's a very subtle triangular shape. Uh, it has these beautiful color changes, which are completely because of the Lion Brand scarfy yarn. This is my first time working with this yarn, and uh, I must say I love these color changes. This is an easy to work scarf. It is worked in rows. The tassels here at the end are optional to add on to it if you would like. Uh, the scarf measures approximately 75 inches long uh, from tip to tip and then there in the middle of the scarf at its widest point it measures approximately 11 inches at its widest point. For this pattern you're going to need uh, about one and a half balls of a bulky weight yarn. As mentioned, I'm using this Lion Brand Scarfy yarn. Today I will be working with the color Cream and Mustard, but in my photos here you'll see it worked in the teal and silver. You're also going to need a 6 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a pair of scissors and yarn needle for finishing off your project, and if you would like to make the tassels at the end, uh, you'll need possibly a tassel maker or whatever materials you use to make your tassels. Once again, the free written pattern is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, enjoy some of the patterns and stitch tutorials that you see here. As I mentioned, our pattern is worked in rows today and it's worked from end to end and uh, across the width. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and start with a foundation chain of two. In this pattern your chain one at the beginning does not count as a stitch. To get us started we're going to start by working three half double crochet stitches into the second chain from your hook. So yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, work your first half double crochet stitch, and then work two more all into that same chain. And that brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work into the back loop only of uh, each stitch from here on out. So to work in the back loop only you're going to take a look at the tops of your stitches and you have this nice V. You're going to insert your hook only under that horizontal bar that is furthest away from you. That's your back loop. So for row two working in that back loop only you're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way to the last stitch. So for this row we're going to work in the back loop only half double crochet in that first stitch and half double crochet into that second stitch. Once you come to your last stitch you're going to work two half double crochets into that last stitch. So both in the back loop only into that last stitch. You will now have four stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. We will now continue working in the back loop only for row three. You're simply going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. At 
the end of row three, chain one, and turn your work. After you've chained one and turned your work, you're now going to continue to repeat rows two and three until you have a total of 42 stitches. So your row four will be a repeat of row two and you're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way across to the final stitch, working in that back loop only. So you'll have three stitches now. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to work two half double crochets into that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Row five will be a repeat of row three and you're going to half double crochet working in the back loop only in each stitch all the way across. So for this pattern for every two rows you're going to increase by a total of one stitch. So you're going to simply continue repeating those rows two and three until your work across here measures 42 stitches. It should be approximately 11 inches when you come to that center part. So I'm going to leave you to go ahead, continue working those increases, repeating rows two and rows three until you have 42 stitches and then you can meet me back here. Once you have repeated your rows two and three until you've reached a total of 42 stitches, uh, this is what your piece will look like. So this is my widest end with the 42 stitches. I've ended on a row three and then it goes down to my corner here. You've now worked your way through half of the scarf and we're now going to start uh, some decrease rows. So what you're going to do, you've ended on a row three. Uh, for your next row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You will continue working in the back loop only, and you're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way across to the final two stitches. So work a total of 40 stitches, and then meet me back here at your final two. When you arrive at your final two stitches, you're going to work a half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook under the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, insert your hook into the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your half double crochet two together. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For your next row, simply half double crochet in each stitch all the way across, working in the back loop only. You will now have 41 stitches. At the end of that row, chain one and turn your work. You're now going to continue repeating those last two rows so that uh, row where you half double crocheted in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across to the final two stitches and then work a half double crochet two together, chain one, turn your work, half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So you're going to repeat those two rows. Every two rows you will decrease by one stitch. So you're going to continue doing that until you have three stitches remaining and then uh, you can meet me back here.
Now, once you have worked your pattern back down to the three remaining stitches, your piece will look like this. It will work out from the center and uh, then get progressively shorter here down to your remaining three stitches. Once you get to those last three stitches for your final row you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to work a half double crochet three together. To work your half double crochet three together you're going to yarn over, insert your hook working in that back loop only, yarn over and draw up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, back loop only, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Do that once more in your final stitch, insert your hook, back loop only, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all five. At this point, you can fasten off, just close it with a slip stitch. Fasten off, go ahead and weave in those ends. And then on mine, I did add an optional tassel to each of my short ends. And you're welcome to do that as well. But if not, the scarf is fine without. And that's all there is to making the Winter Hues scarf. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.